Today we're going to talk about assist hooks. Uh, I have a real problem with assist hooks sometimes. A lot of guys come on the charter boat, they got bring some nice jigs, and then the assist hook is the part that lets them down. They usually the hooks are too small, or the way that they've been attached isn't very strong. So for me, um, you buy a good quality jig. Some jigs don't come with the hooks on them, so you're going to have you've got two options. You're going to either go and buy a good quality set of um, assist hooks, like uh, Shimano have these ones here. Uh, and they've got different sizes so you can match the jig and the fish that you're after um, or you can build your own. Uh, I prefer to build my own because I can then control the length of the assist hook line to match my jig. I usually go one third or half the length of the jig for the um, assist hook. Alright so what we're going to need is first of all we're going to need some Kevlar cord. Uh, this is about 300 pound Kevlar cord. You're going to need some solid rings or ring and grommets and split rings to attach the assist hook line to the jig. The most important thing, a hook. Now, these have to be strong and they also have to suit the size of the jig and also the size of the fish that you're after. So, to start this off, we're gonna double over the assist hook line and then we're actually gonna lay it alongside the hook. What we're gonna do is, this, the knot is very similar to a uni knot, so we're just gonna roll it around the shaft and then go through two times. One, two, and then we're going to unravel itself over the back over itself to tidy that up and then pull that tight. Once that knot's all pulled tight it can't come undone. There is other alternates that you can do but I like this because it cannot come undone, it's impossible for it to come undone. Then we just pull that up. go. I like to leave the whole line attached because I don't get so much wastage. If you start cutting bits off um, and then cutting it, you, you could lose quite a bit and then it's quite expensive. This, so oh, you leave it all attached, pull it up nice and snug and then cut it off. Good set of cutters. And there you go, I've only lost a little bit of line. So put the solid ring on and then attach the split ring. There we go, one assist hook ready to go. The split ring goes onto the jig. And then we can tie our main line or our leader directly on to the solid ring. And I use a uni knot for that. And if you check out our other videos, we've got a, uh, it shows you our special uni knot that we use for that attachment. For the rods, reels, lures and terminal tackle and some great advice, call in and meet your team at your local hunting and fishing New Zealand store. And for more inspiring online fishing content, visit journeyofafisherman.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel.